more FX. Click the track FX button. Let's add noise. Let's take a look at brightness and contrast. And let's take a look at chroma blur. One at a time, please. Add noise. That's pretty noisy. Several presets. Ooh. Monochromatic. Gaussian noise. I'm going to bring back color curves. Brightness and contrast adds a certain amount of noise, and it's only working on the luminance part of the signal. As you know, a video signal is comprised of luminance, in other words, the intensity of the light, and chroma, or the color information. So brightness and contrast is really only working on the luminance side, Hence, it generates some noise. We can change the brightness and the contrast and the contrast center. Okay. Quite a few presets here. With color curves, we're affecting both the luminance and the chroma. Remember, brightness and contrast works only in luminance. Color curves works in luminance and in chroma. We can combine these two to get interesting effects. Chroma blur. Let's take a look at chroma blur. Let's take a look on a different type of image. You can see the edges of the colors are getting are getting blurred. Let's go to maximum. You can see just at the edge of the couch, the edge of the chair, or a little bit around the face. This is a very subtle one. Black and white gives us 25, 50, 75, 100% black and white. Varies the color saturation but we can vary it anywhere from zero to one. Border. Hmm, bevel. Blurred. Solid. Pick a color, any color. Pick a size, any size. Interesting.